Hi, welcome for Oracle Fusion Cloud uh, Supply Chain Management Training and Placement Program. We are going to introduce this training and placement program, uh, which is in Hyderabad location, both online and uh, offline. So before going to explain about the syllabus, I request everyone, please subscribe to our RTL online uh, trainings YouTube channel to get the latest updates about the product training placement and freelancing consulting works and uh, ask your friends who are working in oracle uh, they can come back to the cloud environment and get better packages better opportunities in this uh, next generation erp product so this particular video i'm going to explain you what is oracle fusion supply chain management and what are the things we are supposed to learn in case if you want to become as supply chain management uh, some people want to enter into the it industry but uh, they are not much familiar with the coding part it means they are not uh, interested to work with technical or coding part so this is a better opportunity for supply chain management domain people who are having uh, graduation after that uh, who has having minimum three years of uh, a uh, gap in after completion of their uh, graduation they are eligible i request everyone please attend for our demos whatever we are going to conduct on 14th may 2022 8 am ist to 9 am ist we'll have continuous three days demos please connect to this particular meeting and uh, contact these numbers for more information and before that i am going to explain what are the things you have to learn when we are working for supply chain management Supply chain management means mainly three modules. Whenever we are applying for Oracle Cloud Supply Chain Management, they will expect minimum three modules for functional consultant. What are the three modules? Inventory, procurement, order management. So before going for uh, inventory, procurement, and order management, in the cloud environment, we have to learn FSM security and enterprise structure these topics are common for any domain whether we learn finance whether we learn supply chain management or human capital management or crm it doesn't matter this fsm security console and enterprise structure this is common for any domain this we have to understand this is the base this is the base once we are clear with this then we will be working with inventory module. Complete inventory module setups will be doing end to end. Whenever we are working in the project or when you are conducting some workshops to your client or when you are trying to give some POCs to your client, how we will provide, including the documentation, what is the sequence order of setups we are supposed to perform for every module, we are going to give the training in that same way. When you are attending for an interviews or when you are working in the project, the same way only we have to go for work with the setups or transactions. So with that type of real time, we are going to provide here. So we'll be doing inventory setups. Then we'll be performing inventory material transactions. Each and every transaction we'll be discussing with practical oriented, including documentation and performing that practically in our application. Then we'll be talking about inventory controls. We'll talk about inventory replenishments and inventory accuracy methods, nothing but uh, cycle counting and physical counting. This all will be discussed. Once inventory model is completed, then we'll talk about the procurement. So inventory is nothing but managing your goods in the warehouse. For example, let's say your client is retail industries. They have some warehouses, outcuts of the city, and they want to manage all the information of those uh, warehouses what items are there, how much quantity is there, how much material quantity received, how much as you should, how many inventories are uh, empty, how many inventories are having the goods, sub inventories, material restrictions. This all we are going to configure over here it is in the inventory module. After doing all these activities, then we'll be entering into the procurement. Very, very, very important and very, very successful product in the supply chain management most of the clients are implementing nowadays procurement it's very hot cake in the market to get better packages and enter into the it industry especially in the cloud supply we'll be talking about the 
basic uh, procurement setups and after performing that setups will be doing the transactions and we'll also talk about the suppliers portal and we'll be discussing supplier qualifications self service procurement and fusion sourcing this is all we are going to discuss each and every part is very important it will be a little bit lengthy but still we'll be learning in depth of the complete procurement setups and transactions including all the supplier portal self service procurement sourcing general procurement approval management in procurement and transaction accounting definitions in procurement this all will be discussing then after the completion of the procurement we'll be going ahead with the order management we already know this is one of the complex and important uh, module when we are working in our uh, order management supply chain management we'll be discussing order management setups pricing setups gop process global order promising and we'll talk about shipping setups and manage processing constraints this all we'll be discussing like what is drop ship rma return material authority price list discount list shipping price list and different types of price lists and we'll also talk about the uh, sourcing rules configuration and we'll also discuss about the transportation schedule order to cash cycle procure to pay cycle including the account setups we will be discussing like this in depth of uh, inventory module setups complete implementation setups same thing procurement self service procurement and uh, sourcing and as well as supplier qualification supplier portal and we'll be talking about order management gop shipping pricing administration cost management this all we are going to discuss once we are clear with this all complete functional setups as well as the transactions we'll also talk about some technical part as when we are applying as a functional consultant generally technical is not expected but still for example if we apply as four years of consultant in cloud supply chain management obviously the interviewer or when you enter into the project they will expect some knowledge about the technicality for example your client is asking you to modify the pick slip report then you are going to assign that particular report to your uh, team member technical consultant you are supposed to show the navigation where do we find that report pick the report and modify it so it will make you strong and confident and also you will be knowing what is happening technically also so we are going to have one example for data loading and we are going to discuss one example for bi reports one example for odbi reports but security and approvals will be discussing in depth this is required this is functional consultant only is to configure but still it comes under a technical area sometimes functional people will do sometimes technical people will do it so this is a common task and adf personalization and sandboxes it's a simple things so uh, we have to learn but actually uh, technical consultants are different we don't need to worry about writing queries writing some groovy script and uh, configuration of uh, rtf templates busting we need just a theoretical part of that as we are applying as a functional consultant okay so this particular course we have designed exclusively for the placement and uh, point of view people who want to enter into the it industry with a strong background and better uh, cloud erp product especially the latest one with all cloud applications mobility applications with the digitalization and integrating with the social sites this entire erp has been scheduled okay so i request everyone please attend for the demo and in this video description you can find this entire link or uh, this you can copy the link and go for attend for the demos then after that you can take a decision thank you thanks for your valuable time you spent with me for 15 20 minutes thank you